This week's little story is about what it's like to restore an old camp on a lake in Maine and do it in a relatively small, relatively remote town filled with family and friends of family, most of whom have parents and grandparents and sometimes great, 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 and sometimes great grandparents who spent time on the porch of your old camp. Let's say that this camp was built sometime in the 1880s and every stick of lumber in it is this beautiful rough cut true dimensioned timber featuring planks some of which are 19 inches there's one over there that must be 24 and let's say that in 2024 you would like to know what this lumber is and if it's remotely possible to find something like it what you would do is go get coffee You'll want to get your coffee in town. And because we're not in San Francisco at the moment, you'll be able to pull up and park right outside the county co-op. It's a great place. I actually built a window display for them a while back. Most mornings, there's a group of fine people who sit at this table right here. And what is the lumber in my camp? It's white pine, and as it ages, it turns orange, and around here, we call it pumpkin pine. And where can I get some? Well, Caleb Hopkins has taken over the old Hopkins family mill out in Hodgton. Good guy, you should go talk to him. I did talk to Caleb last summer. He's a good guy. And he said he'd keep an eye out for good white pine logs. Midwinter, he reached out to say he'd found some. And here we are to pick up the milled lumber. You're gonna be a movie star. Hello, Caleb.
And then we're going to keep the wood. The After a year and a half of kicking this saloon project around, it is wildly satisfying to have a corner fully resolved. Granted, it's a small little section. What it really is, is a material sampler, and I'm happy to say that I love the material. I don't know how long it takes white pine to turn as orange as the 140 year old white pine elsewhere in this place, but it's already more yellow than it was when it was milled six months ago. It's a little less satisfying to look in this direction, but progress is being made over here as well. All of the footings are now poured and the next step is to frame up and pour the big high concrete wall in the back, which will make this place watertight, which will be a joy. But this weekend we have guests and it is time to get out on the water.
Alright. <laughs> 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 <laughs>